Although our main interest was in women, we met and photographed many typical Soviet people in the course of their everyday activities. Upon our arrival in Moscow in July, we were greeted by our Russian friends who had visited San Francisco. To acquaint us with old and new Moscow, engineer Ola Shishkova took the day off and drove us around the city. An evening at the home of Dr. Margarita Zakharova. Her apartment, within five minutes' walk of her work, is on the edge of the city and overlooks Moscow River. From her apartment window, neighbors swimming and boating in the long summer evening. A few apartment house tenants had small vegetable gardens nearby. Boys played ball along the riverbank. Margarita looked across the river and said, the Nazis came almost to there. Many residential areas are planned as units with schools and playgrounds, polyclinics and laundries, stores and theaters all within walking distance. Housing complexes are subdivided into micro districts, small enough to give a neighborhood community feeling. In the midst of Moscow, a garden and play yard in the Cheryomushki district there's room to play or to hang out with clothes. Grandmothers who help at home in many families can visit with neighbors. We met a school teacher taking a year's leave with her baby. The children here told us they could walk to school in less than five minutes without having to cross any streets. Their clubhouse is nearby too and so is the children's polyclinic.